Hi students, I am Priyanka Jain and I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. You can watch several of my plus classes. Okay, I have soon started a catalyst batch course for the whole inorganic chemistry. You will see whole the inorganic chemistry in this course and this is for the upcoming June 2022 exam of the CSIR net as well as for the get exam okay so if you want to see different of the my lectures different courses you can see on the unacademy take the subscription of the unacademy and if you want to see the free classes there are also several free classes every month i take several free classes you can watch these free classes without taking subscription so for this you will have to uncode my code my code is priyanka jain 10 by clicking on this code you will get the link for my classes thank you Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the series of videos for the acid and bases and non aqueous solvents. In today's lecture, we are studying a new solvent that is liquid HF. Okay, so in order to understand the liquid HF, why, how it is behaving, you will have to first of all understand about its auto-ionization. How it is auto-ionizing? As you know about the water, you have seen in the case of water its auto-ionization. Similarly, in the case of HF, if you are seeing, it will also undergo the auto ionization. It will give H2F plus ions and HF2 minus ions. Okay, so any substance that is giving H2F plus ions will act as the acid. Okay, and any substance that is giving HF2 minus ions will act as the base. So we can say that acid is a substance that is giving H2F plus ions in the liquid HF. Okay. Similarly, base is a substance that is giving HF2 minus ions in the liquid HF. Okay. Similarly, there may be one more type of ionization. Sometimes you will see this type of ionization. 2HF is giving H2F plus plus F minus. Okay. So, any species that is giving H2F plus ions is acting as the acid while any species that is giving F minus ion is acting as the base. Okay. So, base are usually the substances that are giving the anionic species. It means either they are giving HF2 minus ions or F minus ions in the liquid HF. Okay. And acid are the substances that are giving the cationic species like H2F plus in the liquid HF. Okay. Now, see the important reactions of the liquid HF as a solvent. The first type of reaction is known as the precipitation reaction. Precipitation reactions. It means if any substance is precipitating. Precipitation reaction means if any substance has the less solubility in that solvent that can precipitate it. Okay. So we know that the different substances have the different solubility in the different solvents. Okay. So in this way, some of the substances that cannot be precipitated in liquid water, liquid H2O, can be precipitated in the liquid HF. Some of the reactions you can see here, Na2SO4. If Na2SO4 is reacted with NiF2, then it is giving NiSO4 as the precipitate plus you are getting 2 NaF. So, this reaction cannot be carried out in the water. Okay. Similarly, NaClO4 is when treated with TiF, you are getting TiClO4 as precipitate plus NaF. Okay. This is not NaF. Okay. Similarly, KiO4 is when treated with silver fluoride. It is giving AgIO4 plus KF. Okay. You are getting a precipitate of silver iodate. Similarly, one more reaction. AgNO3 is when treated with BF3 and with HF. What you are getting? You are getting AgBF4. Silver borofluorate, you are getting its precipitate plus you are getting H2NO3F. Okay. So, these are some of the precipitation reactions that can be carried out in the liquid hydrogen fluoride, but it cannot be carried out in the liquid NS3 or in the water. Okay. Now, see the next type of the reaction that is acid and base reactions. Acid base reactions are similar to that is carried out in the water. Any substance that is giving H2F plus ions, we know what is the auto ionization of HF. 
it auto ionizes in this manner h2f plus plus you are getting hf2 minus so any substance that is giving h2f plus ions is acting as the acid and any substance that is giving hf2 minus ion is acting as the base so now here you can see different substances are acting as the acid as well as as the base any substance that is giving h2f plus ion is acting as the acid okay and any substance that is giving hf2 minus ions or f minus is acting as the base so you can see here hno3 that is acting as the acid in the water now if you carry out its reaction in the liquid hf it is giving us h2no3 plus plus f minus now you can see you are getting f minus ions okay so here hno3 is acting as the base that is a acid in the water now is acting as the base okay similarly h2so4 if it is treated with the hf it is forming s3 SO4 plus plus F minus. Okay, so similarly you can see here that F minus ions are produced. So H2SO4 is acting as the base. So now you can see that the HNO3 and H2SO4 that are acting as the acid in the water now are acting as the base. These both are acting as the base in the liquid HF. Okay, similarly HClO4. If you are treating HClO4 with the HF, it is showing the amphoteric behavior. It means it is acting both as the acid as well as as the base. See here, one of the reaction. This is one of the reaction. HClO4 is acting with HF and it is forming H2ClO4 plus and F minus. Now you can see F minus is produced, so it is acting as the base, right? Similarly, another reaction. See here, HClO4 is when treated with hf now it can react in another way it can form clo4 minus and h2f plus this whole thing depends on the conditions now you can see this is an another condition okay both the conditions are different so in different environment it is giving h2f plus ions so now it is acting as the acid okay so you can see here that the hclo4 is acting both as the base as well as as the acid so it is showing the amphoteric character okay it is showing amphoteric character in the liquid hf similarly bf3 asf5 sbf5 snf4 these all substances are acting as the acid in liquid hf okay these are acting as acid in liquid HF. Okay. Now there is one more definition for the acids. These all substances are fluoride acceptors. Okay. These are actually fluoride acceptors. So any substance that is acting as the fluoride acceptor. Okay. Any substance that is acting as the fluoride acceptor will act as the acid. This is another definition of acids. Okay. So you should concern this definition also. See here. What is happening? SBF5 is when treated with hf now it is acting as the fluoride acceptor it will accept one of the fluoride ions so it will form now h2f plus okay in this manner so now it is acting as the acid okay similarly see here one more reaction bf3 is when treated with the hf it is forming bf4 minus plus h2f plus okay so you can see here this is forming h2f plus so it is acting as the acid similarly if you are treating snf4 with 4 hf now it will convert to snf6 minus 2 plus you are getting 2 h2f plus okay so in both of these reactions in all of these reactions you are seeing the ions that you are getting is h2f plus ion h2f plus ion h2f plus ions so all of these substances are acting as the acid in liquid hf okay so this is the whole thing that you should understand 
this whole thing that the, any substance will act as the acid or act as the base this depends upon the nature of the solvent what is the solvent okay if you are taking hf then these are acting as the acid okay so if you are taking different solvent then they can behave in a different way so this whole thing the strength of an acid or a base depends upon the solvent another important reaction that can be carried out in the liquid hf is protonation of the organic compounds the organic compounds can be protonated for example if you are taking benzene okay and treating it with the liquid hf you are dissolving it in liquid hf then you are getting c6s7 plus plus f minus it means it is f it is protonating now similarly c2h5oh ethyl alcohol if you are dissolving it in liquid hf you are getting c2h5oh2 plus its protonation has been happened similarly cs3 whole thrice ccs3 is when treated with hf then it is forming cs3 whole thrice c ch4 plus plus f minus okay so in this way the organic compounds can be protonated in liquid hf okay so these are the some of the reactions some of the important reactions of the liquid hf when it is acting as the solvent okay i hope you all will like this video okay meets you in the next video with some more solvent and if you want some more topics you can comment me thank you